Getting prepared for 2021, getting organized and set up to have an incredible year ahead does not have to be a long and complicated process. I know it can seem overwhelming, but really make it simple. I'm gonna show you some easy tips to get organized and get yourself set up so that you can have an incredible year. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is May. I create YouTube videos all about the things that I love. And one of those things is planning, organization, and setting goals, staying inspired and motivated. I really enjoy sharing my journey with you all. So I hope that you will like this video if it's helpful for you. Subscribe to my channel and check out my other content. And of course, join me over on Instagram because that's where my daily party is. I want to share a disclaimer with you before we get started. I often say this in my videos that have to do with goal setting or planning or starting over, getting on track. I want to remind you all that you don't have to wait for a new year, even a new month or a new week. You can start fresh, get on track, get organized any time. It can be a random Wednesday. It can be January 1st. It doesn't matter. So don't feel the pressure of having to have everything set and ready to go by the new year. It is a convenient time for a lot of people to kind of start over and um, get started on the things that they want to do, but you can do this any time. So if you happen to find this video somewhere down the line, or if you're just feeling discouraged and uh, need a little motivation, don't think that you have to only do this on January 1st. You have the power within you to create the life that you want, and that can happen any day, any time. Over the next few videos, I'll be sharing with you all everything that I'm doing to prepare for 2021, but this video is really going to share the foundation of what I think it takes to set yourself up for an incredible year. So tip number one in preparing for 2021, you need to first assess 2020. So that involves two things. First of all, look at where you are right this minute, right now. I want you to look at your life and just take inventory. It's important that you do this without any kind of judgment. Just assess your life and what's going on. Look at the main categories, whether it's health and wellness, maybe your work, your personal relationships. Look at the big picture and what you have going on right now. Because I firmly believe that you can't make changes to something that you're not knowledgeable about in the first place. So first we need a picture of where we are before we can organize it and make any kind of changes in the new year. And the second part of that is to review the entire year. Now I understand this has been a very abnormal year and a lot of things going on, the state of our world and our country. So we need to have grace with ourselves as we conduct this year in review, but it is important to just see what happened and just really get a big picture idea. Again, no judgment. We just need to know what we're working with. One thing that I love to do when I do a year in review is to celebrate my accomplishments and express gratitude for the wins that I had in the year. Again, I know that it was a troubling year for many, but there were still amazing little things that happened. Maybe they were big wins or maybe they were small things, but whatever it is, there's always something that we can be grateful for and there are always things that we can celebrate. So let's look back on those accomplishments, look at those wins, express some gratitude, and find fun little ways to celebrate them. All right, now that we've assessed where we are and what we're working with, we need to think about where we want to go. So before we set any kind of goals, we first need to just get everything that's in our head out of our head and onto paper. So some people call this a brain dump. I just like to think of it as a download of all the ideas and dreams and exciting things that are in my head. I want them out of my head and onto paper. So set the vibe for this. Make sure that you block out a little bit of time for yourself and do whatever makes you feel good. You want to set a candle, you want to get a cup of coffee, whatever it is that makes you happy. Take this time to just write everything out. Again, as we're doing this, we're not making any judgments and we're not worried about organizing or even categorizing these things. Just everything that's in your head, write it out. So this will include your dreams and goals and things that you wanna accomplish, 
but also write down, maybe you have an appointment in January that's just kind of nagging you in the back of your mind. Write that down. We just wanna clear our head and make sure that everything is on paper. So just do a huge download and get it all written out. After that, then is the time to go through and categorize things. Can you start to see categories? Just go through and start to group like things together. You'll see life categories that come up. Maybe you'll see some things that are steps to a larger goal. So just start to categorize, but make sure that this is step number two and you don't do this until you've written everything down first. Now comes the fun part. You get to set your goals and your intentions. As you're setting goals, think about not only what you want to do, but how you want to feel. I think this is a really important part of goal setting. We are sometimes so focused on these traditional markers of success and achievements, but it's really important to think about how we're going to feel, how we want to feel, and what we want to do with whatever we gain. So once we accomplish that goal, what is that gonna mean for us? Think about the bigger picture, think about your why. Set these goals, write these intentions of what you wanna accomplish. Now, this is part of a manifestation process or a way of actually achieving your goals. This is one of those steps. So I'm not gonna go into that too much here, but there's a lot that goes into goal setting and actually achieving goals, setting intentions, and manifesting and creating a life that you love. If this is something that you're interested in finding out more information and you'd like me to make another video, please just let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to do that. All right, I've already lost track of what tip number we are on, but another important aspect to think about and look at is your finances. Now, I know this is part of the bigger picture, and hopefully that's something that you have considered when you did your 2020 year in review, and also maybe it is something that you have considered as you set your goals for the new year. But I think it's so important that I really want to break it out and give it its own category. Finances are something that we have so much control over. This is something that I've talked about in previous videos, but I think especially for women, it's really important to be educated about money and finances. So I will again talk about this separately because I think it deserves a lot of attention and I want to go in depth into it, but I just wanted to put this in the foundational video that I hope that you will consider your finances both in your year in review and in your goal setting. My final tip is to get yourself a planner. I happen to love paper planning, but I know that that's not for everyone. I do actually use a digital calendar in addition to a paper planner. So I think there's a way to do both of these things, but I believe in the power of putting pen to paper. So especially if you're new to getting organized, I would highly recommend that you get started with a paper planner, but I think it's essential to have some kind of calendar and planner to not only take you into the new year, but also to help you sustain and commit to your goals and make sure that you're consistent and make sure that you actually achieve them. Now, I believe that planning is something completely different than just using a calendar for appointments. While that is important and it's good to know where your time is going and when you have appointments, Planning, I think, involves so much more. So I am going to do a separate video on that. But again, make sure that you have a planner and that you set up your planner in a way that is going to help you achieve optimal success. So make sure you check out my other videos here on YouTube for lots of amazing resources on planning and setting up your planner. I have some in-depth reviews on different options for planners and also just my personal setups and the way that I get things done. Seasons of life change. So where you start out in in the beginning of 2021 with your planner may be different than three months or six months in the future. So just know that your planner needs may change and you can change your planner, but it's important to just have one and start the process. And then as your needs change, be flexible. You may need to get a different planner, but make sure that you have it set up for success. Again, I will include a separate video in this series talking all about how I set up my planner and my systems for getting things done in 2021. I hope these tips were helpful for you all. Again, just some quick and easy things that you can start to do right now to prepare for the year ahead. I will take this opportunity to remind you one more time 
Do not put pressure on yourself to have to be ready on January 1st. In fact, I created a sticker set that is called February is the new January because I think that we can start fresh and start new anytime. So if you find yourself in that boat, no worries at all. So don't get too caught up in that. Just make sure that you start wherever you are and whenever you are ready. All right, again, I hope this was super helpful for you all. Please make sure to give it a like. It's really, really helpful for me and it helps other people to see this content as well. Feel free to share it in your social media feeds and let me know if you have any tips. I love to hear from you guys. This community has so many great ideas. I've learned so much from you all. So please leave me your tips and the things you're doing to get ready for the new year. We can all learn from each other. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.